Well, you can do your bathing suit later. Okay, cool. I'm just my blue one. Shh, I need you to be quiet because I'm doing a little video. Okay, just an instructional video on how to do some simple chemical addition. We're going to be increasing the pH by 0.3 parts per million. And uh, you have your easy chemical adjustment sheet that I gave you guys. And uh, so we find on here how to increase the pH. I already tested for it. It was at 7.2, and we need to move it to 7.5. So that is a difference of 0.3 parts per million. And the chart says we need to add 5 pounds and 13 ounces. So. I got this scale here, and we just use this button. It says on slash tear to turn it on. And you can see that it's zeroed out. <clears throat> and right now it has this little arrow, arrow that's pointing to grams. And there's an arrow for ounces, an arrow for pounds. And you just push the mode button to cycle through there. Um, and so first off, we're gonna start with pounds. And we'll use this bucket here. Um, and of course, this bucket weighs a certain amount of pounds. And so we'll put that on there. And to eliminate the weight of the bucket, we push this on slash tear button again, and we get back to zero, okay? So now we can start measuring out our um, five pounds and 13 ounces of chemical. So to increase pH, we use pH increaser. Open it up. Okay, so we have our scoop here. We'll just slowly add this until we reach uh, the timed out. Okay, until we reach the uh, five pounds. Oh. All right, there's five pounds. It's five pounds, 13 ounces, right? So, we'll take this up to, uh, 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 no thanks. Coraline, please go sit over there. We'll take this to 5.8. Yeah. That'll be about 13 ounces. Okay, you don't add dry pH increaser to the pool. You add it in solution, which means you have to dilute it in water first. So, we use this bucket, and you can just fill it with pool water, and you don't want to put the whole, uh, the whole five pounds in here all at once. So then we just slowly add this to our water by about, oh, maybe two pounds at a time. And I have a stir stick that I always keep in the bucket in the pump house. And also, when you're increasing pH, you when you get this uh, all dissolved, you add it around the perimeter of the pool. You don't dump it in in one concentrated area. We want to affect the pH of the entire pool. And if you dump this in one area, it will affect the total alkalinity of the pool because if you dump this soda ash in there, it consumes itself in its own reaction and uh, it will affect the total alkalinity, which will then ruin your pH. So when you add this, you add it around the perimeter of the pool, like this. added all of your dry chemical and uh, I'll get back to you when we're done doing that. When you mix this, it turns white, and 
and uh, after a while, this uh, pH increase or sodium bicarbonate will, uh, the solution will turn clear. And that's kind of when you want to add it. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter because it's going to dissolve in the pool, but uh, if it's already dissolved as much as it can be, then you're actually, you're um, adding a more powerful solution uh, into the pool. You're introducing a different uh, chemical reaction into the pool than you would be if you were to dry it, or if you were to add it in its drier form. We want to make sure it's completely dissolved. The problem with adding it dry is that you end up wasting chemical because it uses energy to dilute in the water. And when it's surrounded by itself in a small amount of water, it uses less energy. And when it's surrounded by a larger body of water, it has to use more energy. And so we do this in here to, it's actually, it's more for the actual chemical that we're adding rather than the pool. It's easier on the chemical to uh, dissolve it first in a smaller bit of water. So you can come over and see that when I first added it, it was pretty white. And now it's more like a milky, a uh, little bit clearer, okay, and that's kind of what we're looking for. And again, it's around the perimeter. So that's how you increase pH, using pH increaser, dilute it in a bucket and add it around the perimeter of the pool. And make sure that you use that scale correctly. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks.